Hi, my name is Vicki Goforth Parnell, and I would like to share another vision that God has given me. Um, it was today at 11, 14, 21, at 9, 51 a.m. is when I put it in my journal, and it is called the Hourglass Vision. Um, this is the second one I had today. I had them one right after another. The first was the Wormwood Vision, um, and I would like to pray for so please pray with me, dear God. Heavenly Father, I come boldly into your throne as a daughter through Jesus' name. We come as children in Jesus' name. There is no other way. God, you have called me to warn, and I'm warning. It doesn't matter what people say, Lord. If we reach one person, it is enough. But God, I pray that your words go throughout to, to your people, to the lost, to... Because your word does not return unto you void, Lord. It says that your word accomplishes everything you have set it out to do. Lord, I seek no no fame, no recognition. I seek no money. I, I, I seek only to serve you, Lord. I want to be a servant, a servant to all. So God, in the name of Jesus, as I step out in what to me is a most uncomfortable place in the eyes of the public, let me warn as you call me to do give the people the ears to hear all that the holy spirit is saying in jesus name i pray amen all right the hourglass vision i have been praying and interceding when i saw two visions the second one still found me floating in outer space with my lovely jesus beside me after showing me wormwood i found myself asking him is there anything else he wanted to show me? I feel him take my left hand in his right and he says, Yes, daughter, there is. Then we start traveling through space and heading quickly towards the earth. Within minutes we enter the atmosphere and break into a clear, blue, cloudless sky. It's cold. I can see my breath upon the air. Yet I do not feel the cold. It doesn't penetrate through my Jesus' holy presence, protective presence. Where are we, Jesus? We are over the North Continent, over your nation, America, and that of Canada. Why here, Jesus? I have something else to show you, my daughter. Look and see. Which way, Jesus? I'm looking all around, and then I look down again, and I see that the Earth now appears as a flat map of the United States and Canada. Over Canada, there is a symbol a picture of scales that are tipped toward the left and I see the word guilty but now over America has appeared a very large hourglass the glass is clear so that I can see that the contents inside and I can see all the contents inside and the frame looks like either a light tan or gold in color I notice immediately that the hourglass is empty on the top, with all the contents already passing down to the bottom half. What does this mean, Jesus? What, what is this? It is the great hourglass of time. But the contents have all ran out. They are all at the bottom. What does it mean, Jesus? It means your time has run out. Then all of a sudden I am seeing a hand. Now I see two. Two beautiful but very powerful hands. They are reaching down from out of the heavens, the sky, and is picking up the hourglass containing time. I recognize these hands. These are Father God's hands, aren't they, Jesus? Yes, daughter. What's he doing? As I am watching, I see the hands of God has picked up the hourglass and is holding it firmly in both hands. Then with the mighty force, I watch as his hands throws it down upon America and it shatters and breaks into many, many pieces and disperses all over my nation. What just happened? What did he just do? What does it mean, Jesus? It simply means, daughter, no more time will be given. Now I find myself back in my living room and I begin praying once again and asking Jesus what does it mean. He begins speaking to me once again. Daughter, your nation, even your world, has been given many chances to repent and to turn from your evil, wicked ways. 
but you have not. The time has come for no more time to be given. What do you mean, Jesus? What, what do we do then? You continue to pray, daughter. You pray and read my holy word, embracing me. Dig your roots deeper in me. Jesus, I know that humble and earnest prayer can cause change to occur. Yes, daughter, it can. I shall always hear these prayers, and they will be answered. And daughter, I am long-suffering and patient. But I have left my holy word, which clearly shows you what happens to a nation when it forgets me, their Savior. Your prayers can cause the severity of many things to be lessened and even cause things to be changed. But if my father did not spare Israel or Judah, the chosen people from their pronounced judgment after they were given many opportunities to repent, then do not presume that America, my engrafted people, are going to be exempt. All people are equal in my eyes. Read my holy scriptures, daughter. Read Amos chapter 7. Judgment was still brought forth, even though my heart was moved and changed by compassion, after speaking with my servant um, Amos, two times I did not bring forth judgment, but the third time judgment came forth. They ran out of time, daughter. And after these two spaces of time to repent, no more was given to them either. Read Jeremiah. Search the scriptures and pray for the Holy Spirit to open up your understanding while doing so. You are out of time, daughter. Your nation of America and no more will be given. I understand, Jesus. I understand. These are the scriptures he gave. Um, Amos chapter 7, the book of Jeremiah. Galatians three twenty-eight. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Romans two eleven. For there is no respect of persons with God. 2 Peter 3 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Psalms 115 3. But our God is in heaven, in the heavens, he hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Proverbs 16 4 through 7. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. For every one that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he make even his enemies to be at peace with him. Please pray. Pray about all these things. And in all things, we, we are to know we, the true believers of Jesus Christ, is bride. We are not to fear. We are not to fear. We are to be encouraged because we know in everything, everything, God is faithful. He is faithful and He will take care of us. If He will feed the ravens, He will feed the birds, then He will take care of us. And I want to give you an example. My friend and I were praying about how how we could make it. because And God had promised He would supply. He would supply. My God shall supply all my need according to His riches and glory. And she was telling me about her son that has um, a goat pen. And in the middle of that goat pen, a wild tomato plant grew five feet high. The goats didn't need it. The raccoons didn't need it. Nobody touched the fruit of that vine until they went and picked 25 tomato plants off of it. Or 24, I'm sorry. 24 on a wild tomato vine. God is more than able to take care of you and to take care of me. We just have to trust him. Thank you.